When I was five years old, my mother took us four children to Mexico to visit her parents. We spoke Spanish all summer long, and Spanish became my first language. But after my first day back in school in the U.S., I left it behind. As I grew older, I left lots of things behind. I hung around mostly with Anglo friends. I was ashamed of my Spanish-speaking relatives, and I didn't care about relearning Spanish. On occasion, my mother would speak of her sister, her parents, and of growing up in this country as migrant workers, but it really wasn't of interest to me. I was more interested in my own life. One day when I was about 40, a friend and I were visiting my mother. My friend began to talk with her and happened to ask her how she came to this country. My mom started to tell a story that I had never heard before. How when she was eight years old, her father had brought the family to El Paso, returned to their farm in Mexico with the expectation of returning shortly to collect his family and continue the venture northward into the States to look for work. For months, my mother and her sister would go to the train station every day and wait to see if their father would step off. Finally, one day, my grandfather arrived. I sat there in the kitchen listening to this, dumbfounded. I never knew this part of my mom's history. And the truth is that I hadn't asked very many questions of her or my father ever. It hadn't occurred to me to ask. So I got a tape recorder and sat my mother down and started asking questions and listening to her answers. My name is Petsy Ramirez. And I am 83 years old. I came in this country when I was... I heard about when our parents went to Wyoming to work on a farm, how we had been promised living quarters, but when we arrived, the living quarters turned out to be a chicken coop. My mother spent days scrubbing the walls to get rid of the smell. I was too young to remember. I heard about when she was 15, she was still in the second grade, about how she'd try to improve her English by reading the morning newspaper from, from page to last. I heard about how my parents became citizens and even adopted anglicized names, Paul for Pablo and Patsy for Patrocinio. When my mother passed away, my oldest nephew was going to give a eulogy at her funeral mass. I remembered the taped interview that I had made with her and brought it out for my nephew. The morning of her funeral, I came to the kitchen to find him listening with tears running down and his I cheeks. A sister by the name of a pizza, and I started crying too. In 1935. It was my first act of activism. And later, I even started speaking Spanish again. <laughs> 